The updates continue to flow, with the Boeing 7379 really being impacted by a mass grounding following an emergency airworthiness directive by the FAA. Now, they're set to stay parked longer than initially expected, following further revelations not just from airlines but the Federal Aviation Administration too. A new statement from the Federal Aviation Administration sees their priority being on keeping the public safe. The FAA mandated grounding planes affected by the mid-cab and exit door plugs, essentially to keep the public safe. The FAA further said the planes will remain grounded until they are deemed safe to re-enter service with their respective operators. The EAD, issued one day after the incident involving an Alaska Airlines aircraft came to light, forced several airlines to ground it. The primary airline impacted by the newest mandate though wasn't Alaska Airlines. We know they voluntarily granted the series, but certainly a lot of focus will rest on United Airlines, who extensively flies the 7379. Despite a new statement from the Federal Aviation Administration, there has been a substantial amount of criticism that has come from it. The criticism primarily comes from the lack of clarity over these inspections and the waiting game that carriers are being left in as they await developments. Additionally, mentions of the 737-900ER being a focus have occurred. The 900ER plug doors have been identified as practically the same, but this variant isn't the focus of inspection. Additionally, onlookers say that such a response from the FAA does more harm than good, with the reaction lacking really in every regard, it not being a great response, if you will. United published further information on how the 7379 can return to service. Their statement added more information than the primary regulator dealing with the groundings, which I think left many people shocked at how the airline is providing more valuable information. Currently, there still is isn't much of an understanding of what caused the mid-cabin exit door to blow out from the Alaska Airlines 7379. But actually, only minutes before this video is being recorded, news emerged that they had found this door, which will be critical to the investigation process. It actually landed in someone's backyard. As a result of all the events we've seen transpire, airlines that have grounded the type do lack a timeline, or should I say time frame alongside it, to begin the core steps to approving and obviously the inspection of the plane. You may recall that some of the initial expectations laid out by our airlines were seeing groundings not last as long. However, that is now set to change. Several airlines worldwide have been forced or decided to halt operations with the Dash 9. Again, this is in response to the emerging safety concerns. Within the United States, we have Alaska Airlines and United. Copa Airlines announced it would also ground its plane, with 21 units having the mid-cabin exit door plug. Aeromexico 2 with their 7379s. Turkish Airlines were added to that list yesterday. Despite significant companies around the world grounding the plane, others that fly the 7379 have escaped at the moment from this. If you have any thoughts on the continued developments we're seeing take place, let me know down below in the comments as well as maybe your bold predictions on when you believe the 7379 will be able to return to service right around the world. Thanks again for your support here on this rolling coverage, it is greatly appreciated. I'll see you next time, hopefully with some more regular aviation developments. And we'll